Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to uh, the Dimensional Galaxy Z. I've never played this game before, because it just came out, go figure. And this game looks gorgeous, and really fun. <laughs> Nothing left to lose now. Squadron, report in. Why squadron, report in? Anybody? Here, I'm here. Identify yourself. ATAC. ATAC? Yeah. Your launch ship's intact. Where is the regular radio op? No, it's gone. I'm in a Galak S fighter. Kurokawa's ship. He got hit before they launched. And I'm as good as gone. I've got a dead stick. ATAC, I need you to concentrate. You're the last fighter left. Cycle through your systems. Let's calibrate that steering. I'm going to have you aim at the targets. Aim down. Just point the stick in the direction you want to aim. Good. Aim up. Aim at the next target. This is... Okay. Good. You're calibrated. Test fire your lasers. Working. Check your forward thrusters. Oh, thrusters, boy. Good. Looks good. Remember, steering and thrusters work together. So now your reverse thrusters. Yeah, got it. Got it. When using thrusters, a faint blue bubble around your ship shows the distance enemies can hear you. Looks like your controls are working. Oh yeah, coming back online. So what happened? The Imperials. The Baron's entire fleet. They were waiting for us. Hammered us the moment our fleet came out of warp. I don't know how I managed to get us out of there. I don't know if anyone else made it. Okay, I've got a read on your signal. You're a... ATAC? I need you to listen and do exactly as I say. It's bad, right? I mean, th there's no way that doesn't mean I'm screwed. Well, you're in a narrow band of asteroids surrounded by Imperial Dreadnoughts. Those rocks are probably preventing them from scanning you. There's a gap in their coverage on the far side of the belt. Make it there and I can warp you back. First, I want you to head to this large asteroid. It seems to be hollow. You'll be able to use it for cover as you fly through it. I've marked it on your guidance system, so just follow the targeting arrow. Okay, voice on the radio. I guess I'll trust you. This voice on the radio is Beam, and I'm bringing you to the science vessel Axelios. Okay, Beam. Here's to hope. Can I not bust through that thing? Guess not. Okay. Dude, there's... Let's make sure your boosters are functional. Just hold down boost. There's like a giant anime cruiser. Oh, boost. Boost. There's a giant. Watch your engine temp. You have to give it time to cool down between boosts. There's a giant anime cruiser flying around in the background, Tell scanning for me. That's Academy awesome. Class of 23. Yeah, are you pulling up my records? Zero confirmed kills. Look, lady, you can confirm everything I just killed. Okay, okay. We just haven't worked together before. Just trying to understand who you are. Some like red lines a little bit there. This is awesome. It's like, it's. It's like if you took asteroids and made it, like, plot-based, and, you know, made it really pretty looking. Oh, man, I can't wait to boost around. I'm actually really... Ooh. There's... Hey, I've reached a big asteroid, and there's definitely a cave system. Looks dark inside. Well, go in and keep reporting. Dude, this is sick. Your shields will absorb all but weapons-grade collisions, so don't worry about bumping into walls. You can also break. Just hold both thrust buttons at once. What are these? Just bubbles? All right, let's just not. Your shields will absorb initial blows, but they do need time to recharge. Get hit while your shields are down and you'll take permanent health damage. You'll see your shields represented as the blue bars on your HUD. 
The red bars indicate your health. So, oh, it doesn't even cause shield damage running into this stuff. Okay, that's good to know. That actually helps a lot. Uh, a repair kit? Good find. Your salvage unit can suck it up. Micro machines repair health you've lost in battle. So it looks like looks like the uh looks like the the bubbles are not harmful. Well, that's good. You've got probes between you and the exit. Take them out before they report you to the destroyers. Just keep firing and moving. Take that. Dip, sorry, that was me. Looks like we get scrap too. So there is an upgrade system in this game. Good. Uh, I'm out. Good. I found missiles nearby. It's on your way. Open your map to get a sense of it. Oh, whoa. We get a a map L2 R2. Okay, so we've got Jeez, this is cool. I, I dig this. I'm really curious how the rest of this game turns out. I do actually kind of hope it's almost like open world expo exploration comboed with, nice. you know, sick ass, uh, missiles are back online. sick ass like ship to ship combat. More probes. Be ready to take them out. And the art style is gorgeous. New gen asteroids with a bunch of toys. I mean, test your missiles on them. Hold the missile button to open the targeter. Hold the targeter over enemies to build missile locks. Keep holding to lock on more missiles. Release to fire. Okay. And that's mine. So we got missiles. Do we got anything else? I really hope there are other weapon types that we can switch in as we go along here. Because that'd be awesome. Anyway, oh. Yeah. Okay, I've set up the beacon. Get to it and get out. Let's get all these Lego blocks before we do anything else. The beacon signal rings out loud and clear, and there's a good chance they'll have sent someone to investigate. Not to mention all these dreadnoughts. Beam, they're getting closer. Well, so are you. Stingray, he's guarding the beacon. Looks like the Imperials got here first. Take him out. Ah! My shield to blow. I'm hit. Are you even? Oh, what? What the deuce is this? There's no escape. What is this? Does he? Oh, those are his shields coming back. Fire. Ow! Taking Imperial fire. Yes. Gotta get my shields back. Fuck. No shields for the Empire. Let's just avoid those shots for a second. And shields are down for a second. Okay, he is taking a lot more damage than we are. He has a lot more health than we do, though. My oh. Come on, die, you bastard! We got we got shit to do, and it all entirely involves your death. There we go. That was surprisingly hard. But then again, these controls are weirdly awkward. But that's mainly because I've never done this shit before. I'm digging it though. I am totally digging it. Is this the teleport out? It is. Love the the uh, like cell shady ba background dreadnoughts. They look cool. Like this game has a really nice, really nice art style. Oh hey, kind of looks like the Virgin Vic. Nah, not really. It doesn't really look like the Virgin Victory. It did at first, and I got really excited. And then it's not. Oh well. But yeah, that skull on the side is a uh, skulls of the Shogun reference, which is kind of neat. The facial expressions are dopey. Oh well. Is there just like no one here? Is it just that that random woman? <laughs> Alright, looks like it is. Can access Crash's stash if you find him during a mission. Good to know. Welcome to the Excelios. Your progress is automatically saved here and only here. Quitting during missions will lose all current season progress, so be careful. Complete five missions in a row without dying to unlock the next season. Oh, interesting. Okay, can't do anything... Next! You made it back. I can't believe it. You killed at least. I have a plan. Fight the Imperials, strike at their heart. Atak, you're the only pilot left. W what? After the ambush, the fleet. They're all gone. And our ship, the Axelios, is running out of water, power, oxygen. Did you signal for help? Our long-range communications and navigation are offline. That's bleak. That's tough. 
I don't know what you'll do. You're our only hope for survival. Can you keep us alive while I get our systems back online? Okay. I may be a new pilot, but lucky for you, I'm amazing. You can count on me. I will. Fingers crossed. I'm getting a signal. SOS, SOS. I was attacked by White Tuscan and pinned in a cave behind an overreactive Imperial turret. My shields are fried and I need extraction. That's Crash. Hey, Tack, get ready for your first mission. Right. With the fleet wiped out, comms down, and navigation offline, we need all the help we can get. An old friend, an expert mechanic, is in trouble. If we offer him help, he might just do the same for us. So we keep picking up uh, scrap. I assume we unlock upgrades once we get the next guy. Probably. Why don't they take the uh, ship and fly away? I don't think they can. Chances are they're light years away and these things don't have their own warp drives. So you, you can't warp away unless you've got one of these bigger ships. Which makes sense. At least as far as I'm concerned. Alright, Gravity Passage. Written by Paul Latta. Okay, there's a vessel in the area ahead. Find and escort my friend, Crash, and I'll open a warp point. Exactly who is this friend? A mercenary mechanic. Never trust a mercenary beam. This mercenary can make us weapons. Fine, I'll suspend my disbelief. I like how in the corner you can actually see the, uh... What was that? Did I get, like, a little map marker? I did. Beam's mechanic friend, Crash. Is this unclear? Oh, no, Beam, I understand. I understand everything. I think I just killed that one. Yep, it did. These are just drones all over the place. What is this shit? I don't even know. Space junk. Okay, Later. cool. So yeah, you almost don't want to use... Oh, you can just hold down X. You don't hey, actually have to... What kind of person Fuck. is Crash? He's a bit of a hermit. Keeps to himself. Likes the stuff he likes. Do you think he'll like me? Why not? Boom! Fuck. I don't want to take too much damage on this one. If I can just line him up so he's taking all the hits. His attacks are much, much slower than me. Got him. Alright. Calling any neutral parties within broadcast range. I am scuttled and require someone to take out an Imperial turret that has me holed up in this cave. I can reward you with weapons and parts. Yeah, I'm digging the character por portrait in the corner. I'm digging everything about this game. It's got a lot of style. Which is cool. And, like, the gameplay with the, the boost mechanics are awesome. And oh, shit. SOS, SOS. Fucking stay away from me, bug creature. You hurt, probably. Okay. So far, so good. The the controls are bizarre. Oh, interesting. The bubbles refract your bullets. That's awesome. I, did, I didn't even know that was a thing. That's That's cool, though. That, this is going to result in some kind of interesting gameplay. I also like the little map in the corner, because it it kind of makes this almost Metroidvania in the way that, like, you explore the map. SOS. SOS. I need emergency extraction from this stupid cave. I'm pinned behind an overzealous Imperial turret, and my shield reactor is fried. Requesting immediate assistance. You will be rewarded. I guess Metroidvania is totally the wrong, the wrong term to use, and people... People will absolutely give me shit for uh, for using that using that phrase combo. I, I guess that describing this game as such. At the same time, like requesting immediate okay. assistance. White Tusk is gone from the sector. Don't worry about it. Probably. But like the whole the whole using the boost to dodge thing is pretty damn effective. So, ow, crap. Have to worry about momentum just a little bit here. Oh shit! Oh, interesting. Boost is omnidirectional. So like, I can actually, I can actually like boost backwards. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I, di I didn't actually think that would be a thing. But so if you're backing up, you can totally boost away. Neat. Actually, there's probably not a good reason for me to even be up here. I I think this is just looping me back the way I came. But, oh man, I, I love, like, no matter what I'm doing, like, he always has, like, a... Like, if he's shooting, he's like, aww. If you're boosting, he's like, aww. Unfortunately, they don't mix together. Ooh, that looks like fun. Is he not? 
Yep, yep, he is totally 110% dead. Oh shit, was he holding on to me for a second there? I don't even know. We're fine. We are totally fine. Yeah. All right, that did cost me a hell of a lot of missiles, but at the same time, whatever. The aiming seems janky. I mean, that's kind of the point. Like, this game would be a lot easier if it if it works like um if this was a twin stick shooter. Oh, interesting. You can even change the camera with the stick. I like that. Um, but like it's supposed to be janky. It's supposed to make it harder on you. Um, to kind of give the game art, I guess artificial challenge. Oh, did it just like fuck itself up on the spikes? It did. And that's that's concerning. You can even see the the carcasses floating around and stuff. Hey kid, help me out, would you? Huh? How? My shields are down. Take out this turret so I can get out of here. Supplies. Oh, do I shoot the supplies? I shoot the supplies. Good to know. Space junk. Okay, so let's just let's just go with missiles. Target destroyed. Because I think missiles were a much safer plan than trying to do it any other way. Is this him? This is. Moves, pirate. I'm not a pirate. Crash! It's beam. Beam. <laughs> Holy heck, is your timing great? Get me out of here. Aim to make a deal? Name your price. Trade for trade and a trip home to Earth. Signed and sealed. Then I'll spin up a warp beacon. Your new home sweet home. The voice acting is pretty good too. At least I don't mind it. Especially for a Japanese game. Like, this game was actually, I believe, made by a Japanese studio. So it's not just, like, faux Japanese. This is, like, legit, just flat out... Oh, there's... Oh, I did get the chest. Okay, good. And a crash coin. I don't know. But you, usually, whenever you get to, like, a Japanese game, especially from an indie studio, the voice acting is maybe a little bit, uh, touch and, touch and go. Not in this case, though. Hmm, look at those, uh, look at those tights. I'm okay with it.